The target of being a defending state pole vault champion is there, but more so for Kyle Krutoff is the drive to break the state record as he tries to repeat that title. There's good competition around here that I want to stay ahead of, obviously, and then I'm looking, for the, looking forward to the good competition going into state and sectionals and stuff like that. But, yeah, I, f I definitely feel more competition this year than last year just because it's my last year being around here and being around a good coach and good athletes to compete against. Ultimately, the power and grace of this sport is what moves him most. When I tried it my sixth grade year, I was just instantly was like, man, I got I got to do this. I was like, it's fun and something different and exciting, and um, you get a really big thrill doing it. Everybody's just like, I mean, how do you fall from 16 feet? And I'm like, honestly, like when you're up in the air, it's over before you even like can realize it. But um, definitely, I mean, it's definitely sometimes can be scary just with different aspects of wind and and weather and stuff like that. But I mean, it's it's I'm on the mat before I even know that I'm falling. The coach to athlete, athlete to coach component is strong when it comes to Krutoff and Tom Unruh. Krutoff says that's one big reason why he's reaching greater heights. Coaching is a big part on being good at anything you want to do. I mean, if you have a good coach that's willing to support you and, and be there in their off time to help you out, I mean, that's that's more than anything. And with Coach Under, he's always here giving his own time out of the day to, to coach us or to coach me and the other guys. I just think he's a coachable kid. Yeah. He's been raised right to uh, listen to what uh, his adults, his peers have to tell him. and. Uh, I think, it, I think he does it for any, any coach he has. That's just the character he has. But uh, I can, you know, he'll do a run through and not go up and go, I can ask him, yeah. why didn't you go up? And he'll tell me, be honest, tell me, and we'll work on getting that corrected. No, I can't see everything. We uh -huh. have to have that trust factor of you know, relying on each other. Every school represented at this meet has a Fellowship of Christian Athletes huddle. I hope you can take time to learn more about FCA at our website, illawafca.org. With this FCA Story of the Week, I'm Dan Pearson.